It's not that there's any less interest this weekend in the annual out-of-sight kite flight in Kenosha or the ever-popular World of Beer Festival in Milwaukee. But there is something else vying for everybody's attention in Wisconsin now, and people here are pretty worked up about it. Congresswoman Gwen Moore sure is. Great Scott, Scott Walker! You gotta go, baby! But the other side is just as excited. You must not turn a blind eye to this arena mess we're in. Conservative idealist or right-wing ideologue, Governor Scott Walker is the man at the center of a bitter fight that has cleaved Wisconsin like a block of its best cheddar cheese. Christine Christie gathered signatures for the recall petition. You know, this is bigger than Wisconsin. If they can get away with this here, they can get away with this anywhere. Amy Kramer is a Tea Party supporter of the governor. It's about doing what is best for all citizens in Wisconsin. Walker and his Republican allies in the legislature started the fight when they passed a law stripping collective bargaining rights for all government workers with the exception of police and firefighters. It was something he promised he would do and he did it. It's ultimately about whether or not we want politicians to act on tough decisions. I've heard for years for years from Democrat Republican voters alike that people complain that politicians get into office and they don't take on the tough issues. That's exactly what we did. Critics argue that he did much more than that, cutting funds for education and planning to do the same for Medicaid, reducing taxes for businesses, which then gave him generous campaign donations. His money-raising prowess has taken him well outside Wisconsin to where rich conservative donors have provided him a campaign war chest that dwarfs that of his opponent, Milwaukee Mayor Tom Barrett. Those people have an agenda that's not a Wisconsin agenda. Uh, it's not about the people in Milwaukee or, or Green Bay or Appleton. It's about the, the Tea Party movement and, and what he can do to make this the Tea Party capital of this country. Who's got the best record on dealing with this budget crisis? Tom Barrett. The fight has drawn a former Democratic president to Barrett's side, as well as Republican governors, including South Carolina's Nikki Haley, to stand with Walker. Because now it's time for us to work for him. Both parties see Wisconsin as a political weather vane. Walker loses on Tuesday, and the Democrats can relax. Walker wins, and the Republicans see a state President Obama could lose.